Hi, Carol here. Welcome back. I decided if I'm going to use my Perfect Pearls, you might as well get out all the colors and have them in front of you, right? And I can see and not putting them on and taking them off. There we are. That looks good. So uh, the one I wanted to show you from Perlex is this Crushed Copper. Is that not gorgeous? It's almost like a Tim Holtz product, you know, because it's got that grunginess to it. And uh, what I did on this stamp from Stampin' Up, my edges stamp, I stamped it out to save time just from cardstock that I, you know, from my scraps. And I put the copper down. I don't know if I'm going to try and get it in that light. And then I put the, tur the teal with it. And oh, it's just beautiful. So what you have to do with this one, though, I'm afraid, is you're going to have to cut this one out to, to um, well, we'll save time. We'll put it down the runner. Let's see if I can get it straight. Might help us. Now my cutting machine. Perfect. And then you can just cut it out. So I want to use this on this one card. So it shouldn't take long to go like this. I mean, there's so many possibilities. And you can set it with your heat tool. Did you know that? Perfect pearls will set, heat it up, and then let it cool on its own. And it will stay. Another thing is hairspray. Hairspray um, Aquanet. That is the best for all projects, is Aquanet. My mom used to use that on her hair. Remember the beehives? Used to put the buns in the back. Oh, my mom was such a beautiful woman. I miss her. So many memories. And she used to use that Aquanet. <laughs> I'll never forget it. It's in a purple can. And it's hard to find. I wish I could... You know, I found it was at Walmart at one time, then it was gone, never to be seen again. So I have to get me one of them. There, so you just have that. Let me show you how beautiful that is on the light. All right, so I'm going to set that there so I don't forget it's there. Now, this is what I thought. I grabbed my Versa pen, my Versa mark. I went over the edges of my uh, partridge in a pear tree. I did the edges with my pen in gold and um, what else? Oh, and then I colored in the pears and did them yellow. And you have to have yellow, or did them gold, yellow. I did it in the yellow. So that bright yellow. And then you have the Merry Christmas. And I mean, it takes two seconds to do that. Let's take two seconds because the back would look so much better. I am going to put it on this card, the red one. I'm going to do the back thicker because it's such a small Merry Christmas. So let's use up some color. I will change my twine to black off camera so I don't use up the time. That's all there is to it. And then grab your perfect pearls that you want. What do, what do I want there? I think I'll stick with the gold. There we go. And just grab it from where you had it before. Because you don't need much of it, let me tell you. You can go across your whole card. There we are. Then I cut a piece of my Swiffer thing. It takes all the sparkles out. It's wonderful. Lift this up and go over it. I'll go over it with my handle one. And I'll clean up my desk with the other one. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me just show you. You don't have to press hard. There's the Merry Christmas. It has the gold in there. It's just beautiful. My partridge in a pear tree. And I'm going to do... Let's 
take all of this up right here so my card doesn't have it all on there and actually you can just swing by with this if you don't trust it just a tiny bit came up this isn't bad then clean it off and let's do something on the card that's really pretty I'll have the card open like this and you know what I'm going to change my mind because I don't want to I did the colors for the purple so let's grab this card I'm going to use the tag in the corner like this as a gift so I'm going to use my crocodile in the corner like that then I'm going to use my corner chomper right away so I don't use up time on the half inch on the bottom like that and by the way my soup last night was delicious my husband said it was absolutely unbelievable so that was nice okay so let's pick this image I am going to do this as snow so I'm going to change it up just a tad and add a bit of white perfect pearls here so let's zoom in again if I can I'll move this out of the way so you can see there we are and I want to make it snow I want a hint of snow and with that blue in the background it looks like snow <laughs> snow is never always white right you have the blue hues gray hues purple hues just what I've used hue new uh, uh, not funny Carol okay so I'm gonna leave that on there I'm just gonna take that up with my swiffer some of the sticky stuff from the uh, glue there okay so now I have this white that's going to go on the bottom. So let's get our choir. And, oh, I've used this a lot. Um, let's stamp it up with. Perfect medium. By Ranger. I'm just pressing in. That's why I wasn't talking. Okay. So, because I have the snoo, I'm going to put this there. And you know you should put a mat down. That's why I have this one here, um, the mouse pad, because you don't miss anything. You, it has that flexibility in there that um, really helps. Okay, now, let's see. I want to do a little bit more distinct coloring on this so let's push this up like that let's go down a bit so you can see and hmm, let's do some red on the lines now this is an outlined image so you're not going to get anything on the inside unless we use our pen right and where's my marker or my Swiffer and then let's use some gray for the hands and you can while well, you have it you might as well if there's any other hands going on get them too and she has a little bit here with the muff and uh, yellow the hat What's really nice is these are going to blend in. Let's do some of this bright green on her dress. And let's do teal on her muff. And some copper on his hat. His body, I guess, too. Chocolate brown on the hair. And on this muff. And let's do doodly do the gold down here to match his hat 
her dress would look pretty that color. And purple on her scarf and her face. Let's go like that. Her face. And yellow hues on his. Perfect pearls. The perfect pearl color on her. We can add some in here so they doesn't look so crazy. Change the faces to white. There we go. And let's do some blue on him. And some gray on the feet. There, that's as, that's as quick and easy as it goes. And then you have a card. I mean, can you get... And you have snow right here. We're going to do that. And a tag. So let's take this over. Grab our big... Um, what should I do with that? Did I put it back? I did. Get so used to put the stuff away. There we go. I forgot to put my powder on there. That's all right. Awesome. This is so pretty. Look at. I want you to see this. Isn't that gorgeous? Just a simple, simple card. Let's put this tag through. I don't know why I cut the hole for both sides. Cause Oh, I'm going to knot it. I'll knot it in the back over here. That'll look nice. So I want it to come up like that. Let's put a big knot here. If I can. It'll be knot. Because I'm on camera. Oh my. Shockeronious. Okay. Oh, let's pull it. oh, I'm going to have to make that bigger. That's all right. We'll do it another time. So we have the partridge in a pear tree in the knot there. That has Merry Christmas. It can dangle, right? You have your singers. And if you want to color those in, just use your, per, uh, your um, let me grab the Teflon folder here. So let's glue this down with some Tombow. Or you can brighten it up if you, you know, if you wanted to. You could put some washi tape, Christmas washi tape, but this is good. Okay, and this is one card over with. It's awesome. I want my hills to be exact. So I'm moving it over so that this round is even with the other round. You know what I mean? Let's go like that. It is. I think I'll take a little bit more precision. And if you don't trust your, your, your cutting ability, I'm going to go over this again with the cut, with the when it dries. Although that's not bad. And then take the other side. You can feel them on the cardboard. There. What I'm saying is I'm going to grab this. <laughs> and then just go over it again. Slide it in might as well have it perfect, right? Perfect pearls. You have to have it perfect. Okay, so one card like that. And then I'll use my joy on the inside. Oh, my tag. I'm going to have to come up with something else here. I want it to go all the way through. There, I did the spit threading. That always works. Okay. I think what I'll do on the back here is use my tiny attacher and attach it. How's that? Right like that. That solved that problem, didn't it? Then I'll 
cut this bit off the bottom like that. That looks cute. Look at oh, I didn't zoom back out. I apologize. Let's get back out there. Okay, so there you have the tiny attacher. Putting that together, you have your tag. Your snow people floating too far up on the grass so we're gonna to have to make another grass or add longer legs let's go for long legs I don't feel like making another one of those things so take your bullet end and my girl's gonna have beautiful stick legs I'm gonna make boots on her there awesome this guy's going to have square blocks with legs. She's going to have... Oh, let's do pretty high, pretty boots. Like that. I'm going to fill him in. And she's going to have pretty boots. That looks better. Let's get our perfect pearls. And then you can decorate it up with some, um, where's my, we used gray on that, which is very easy to do the legs. I have the gray, gray, excuse me. Uh, I made myself bacon and eggs. Listen to this, toast, hash browns, and fried mushrooms. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter. Winter makes me hungry. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's what I ate this morning. Just have a hankering. There we go. Red for her boots. And purple for hers. And that's as quick and easy as that goes. Isn't this wonderful coloring? I love it. show you. Isn't that beautiful? And they're singing, so I have to get a musical note. Oh, this is where I use up my time. I know I have a musical note somewhere. Right there. Yes. So. Okay, so let's grab some bright yellow, some green, some pink, pink and green, blue, gray. I'm wiping it in my uh, Swiffer thing. This gorgeous green. Some copper. And put something in there. I like that pink. pink there. Alright, let's brush it all up. Let's see what we come up with. Brush it downwards so it's not into the people and you lose your color. There we go. I'm going to take my swiffer, go over it, and get all the dust up. Awesome. And there you have it. Tell me that's not a cute card. Oh, with the snow, there's nothing else you have to add. Oh, and there's my ticket. I think it says Merry Christmas. And then I'm going to put Joy on the inside. Where's my I'm going to use this. Fix it up better. There we go. That's some glue. Or some of the stamp mix. The perfect medium there. Okay, let's open it up. I'm going to use my beautiful scripted joy. It's going to go 
right in the middle. Hopefully. There we go. And this is going to be that copper. No, really gold. Really, really gold. Right here. Okay. Just beautiful. I'm not going to add it anywhere else. Just there. And this is your perfect pearls. I mean, and a card, and a tag to boot. Then I'll show you quickly. If I had some hairspray, I'd spray it right away. Water works well too. If you dust it with some water, it'll set. So let me just get some of my, just missed it. I'm going to mist it over here to the side. And there we go. Just run your um, there, dry it up. And that'll be set. Let's dry it. I'm going to use the low speed on. And this will, this will be dry, dry. Oh, I like how it uh, it's kind of taken. There we go. Oh, wrong way. All right. Pick it up off the floor and straighten it up. And you have yourself a beautiful Christmas card to give to somebody in seconds. Just get out all your perfect pearls. Look at that. All dry. Partridge in a pear tree. Open it up and you have joy. I think it's beautiful. And that's a one layer card. Oh yes, I gotta mark this one down because, and then you can kind of, you know, put the tag in like that if you want. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so much for showing that because I really, really love it. When I like something, I just go on and on. Let's try something on a red card stock, shall we? And we will use the grays. I want something simplistic. So, um, well, not exactly. This is going to be a thank you card. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my thank you. I've never used this. It's Stampin' Up! set. Called another thank you. Never even taken it out of its package. So, if I can fit this thank you on here, that would be awesome. Look at that. I just never used it. I love these stamps. This is good quality polymer stamps, let me tell you. You can just tell when you touch it. Let's put it on there like this. And we're going to have a one layer instant card, folks. If Carol can get moving, let's take our Fiskar stamp press. Put it on there. it around and what's my time yikes I can do this I want to have my um, I'm going to use first the mark for this one I'm sorry it's making a bunch of noise let me hold it down thank you okay Card. I am going to get my. Um, do I have another press? I'd like to have something underneath that's soft. Um, oh well, let's see if I can do it without it. Let's put that on just like I had it. You can kind of play around with it. There we go. 
you can I think the gray the deep deep gray would look really nice with this okay doesn't my time go by fast but look at this let's grab the large brush and I want to cover this even though I just set it aside don't want to get anything on it let's take our gray don't know which one is darker but this is going to be a thank you card all in itself. Beautiful. What a beautiful, uh, I'm glad I bought this one. I'm surprised I haven't used it. Because I have too many other ones, right? <laughs> oh, I have got a wish order. Well, it's not a wish order. It's a, I'd love to get it order. I put it on my iPad. It's a mile long. If I keep watching these videos, I'm going to tell you. It's not going to be good. Okay, let's grab this. That looks like you sent this card out to be professionally done. And because that red, that Gina K Shimmer Red, has, uh, and it's 80 pound, look at this. Can I just show you a beautiful card that just says thank you? Sometimes that's all you need to say. And you cannot get, this is my first one layer card. <laughs> that's actually a one layer card. I'm sorry. Um, if you go over to Stamp Nation and there's so many um, uh, people that make beautiful one uh, layer cards and uh, I, oh man, I, I their names have just left my head but anyway I'm going to show this one because <laughs> that's really pretty do you want to put anything on with that I don't think so I, I can't see anything that I would want to put in the corner or um, let me just look everybody's screaming don't touch it what about mm, thank you isn't that something you just want to do something else? Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Just a second. I am going to one second grab. I didn't put it away because I wanted to use it right here. I'm going to put some silver thread just along the bottom. Right in this corner, you think? It's got to go somewhere, so I'm going to do that. you kind of going to use up my time trying to think of this. Well, maybe I'll... No, I like this. Thank you. Forget it. Sorry, Twine. There you have it, my friends. My one layer card and your beautiful tag and choir in perfect pearls that just hangs there with your colored musical notes. I have to get it into the... And then you open it up and it says Joy. I think it's gorgeous on black cardstock. And then we have all these tags to do up. Um, it's going to be a good day. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great one. Have a blessed day.